damage to small blood vessels and capillaries frequently occurs. When these vessels are damaged, there are three basic mechanisms that promote hemostasis or the stoppage of bleeding. Following damage, there is an immediate reflex that promotes vasoconstriction, thus diminishing blood loss. Exposed collagen and von Willebrand from the damaged site will promote the platelets to change shape and to adhere. When platelets adhere to the damaged vessel, they undergo degranulation and release cytoplasmic granules, which contain serotonin, a vasoconstrictor, and ADP, and thromboxane A2. The ADP attracts more platelets to the area, and the thromboxane A2 promotes platelet aggregation, degranulation, and vasoconstriction. Thus, ADP and thromboxane A2 promote more platelet adhesion and therefore more ADP and thromboxane. The positive feedback promotes the formation of a platelet plug. The next hemostatic mechanism is coagulation. Damaged tissue releases factor 3, which with the aid of calcium will activate factor 7, thus initiating the extrinsic mechanism. Factor 12 from active platelets will activate factor 11, which will activate factor 9 together with its cofactor, factor 8, thus initiating the intrinsic mechanism. Both active factor 7 and active factor 9 will promote cascade reactions, eventually activating factor 10. Active factor 10, along with factor 3, factor 5, calcium, and platelet thromboplastic factor or PF3 will activate prothrombin activator. Prothrombin activator converts prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin. Fibrin initially forms a loose mesh, but then factor 13 causes the formation of covalent crosslinks, which convert fibrin to a dense aggregation of fibers. Platelets and red blood cells become caught in this mesh of fiber, thus the formation of a blood clot. Aspirin inhibits the synthesis of thromboxane A2 by irreversible acetylation of the cyclooxygenase enzyme. Cyclooxygenase is required for prostaglandin and thromboxane synthesis. Thromboxane A2 causes platelet to change shape, to release their granules, and to aggregate. Active heparin molecules bind tightly to antithrombin and cause a conformational change in this inhibitor. Conformational change of antithrombin exposes its active site for more rapid interaction with the proteases, the activated clotting factors. Heparin antithrombin complex inactivates factors 7A or tissue factor, 9A, 10A, N2A or thrombin thus inhibits clotting.